Trialomethanes are chemical compounds in which three of the four hydrogen atoms of methane are replaced by halogen atoms. Many trialomethanes find uses in industry as solvents or refrigerants. THMs are also environmental pollutants, and many are considered carcinogenic. Trialomethanes with all the same halogen atoms are called haloforms. Several of these are easy to prepare through the haloform reaction. Table of common trialomethanes. Industrial uses. Equals refrigerants equals, trifluoromethane and chlorodifluoromethane are both used as refrigerants in some applications. Trialomethanes released to the environment break down faster than chlorofluorocarbons, thereby doing much less damage to the ozone layer. Chlorodifluoromethane is a refrigerant HCFC, or hydrochlorofluorocarbon, while fluoroform is an HFC, or hydrofluorocarbon. Fluoroform is not ozone depleting. Unfortunately, the breakdown of trialomethane HCFCs does still result in the creation of some free chlorine radicals in the upper atmosphere and subsequent ozone destruction. Ideally, HCFCs will be phased out entirely in favor of entirely non-chlorinated refrigerants. Equals solvents equals, chloroform is a very common solvent used in organic chemistry. It is a significantly less polar solvent than water, well suited to dissolving many organic compounds. Although still toxic and potentially carcinogenic, chloroform is significantly less harmful than carbon tetrachloride. Because of the health and regulatory issues associated with the use of carbon tetrachloride, in modern chemistry laboratories chloroform is used as a cheaper, cleaner alternative wherever possible. Water pollutants, trialomethanes are formed as a byproduct predominantly when chlorine is used to disinfect water for drinking. They represent one group of chemicals generally referred to as disinfection byproducts. They result from the reaction of chlorine or bromine with organic matter present in the water being treated. The THMs produced have been associated through epidemiological studies with some adverse health effects. Many governments set limits on the amount permissible in drinking water. However, trialomethanes are only one group of many hundreds of possible disinfection byproducts a euro the vast majority of which are not manit or eda euro and it has not yet been clearly demonstrated which of these are the most plausible candidate for causation of these health effects. In the United States, the EPA limits the total concentration of the four chief constituents, referred to as total trialomethanes, to 80 parts per billion in treated water. Chloroform is also formed in swimming pools which are disinfected with chlorine or hypochlorite in the haloform reaction with organic substances. Some of the THMs are quite volatile and may easily vaporize into the air. This makes it possible to inhale THMs while showering, for example. The EPA, however, has determined that this exposure is minimal compared to that from consumption. In swimmers, uptake of THMs is greatest via the skin with dermal absorption accounting for 80% of THM uptake. Exercising in a chlorinated pool increases the toxicity of a safe chlorinated pool atmosphere with toxic effects of chlorine byproducts greater in young swimmers than older swimmers. Studies in adolescents have shown an inverse relationship between serum testosterone levels and the amount of time spent in public pools. Chlorination byproducts have been linked as a probable cause. References External links, National Pollutant Inventory Chloroform and trichloromethane, how ozone technology reduces disinfection byproducts, testing for trialomethanes, EPA, trialomethanes in drinking water.